The Ijewe landscape occurs on top of karst topography, which is a soft limestone that dissolves in places and marks the landscape with sinkholes and depressions. Geographically isolated wetlands can develop over time in these lower elevation sites. And these wetlands make up only about two to three percent of the total land area, but they harbor a disproportionate amount of rare and unique plants and animals in this ecosystem. Every year we bring in about um, three or four seasonal technicians into the plant ecology lab, and I find it such an enjoyable ecosystem. So it's fun to be able to share these species and to um, be able to teach people plant identification. And because it's just not a skill that's taught in a lot of places and certainly not even at a lot of schools anymore. I have a lot of opportunity to share what I have learned about this ecosystem in my time here. Today we're gonna come out to flag flowering individuals um, so that we can come back in a couple of weeks or a couple of months when the fruits are ripe and the seeds are ready to collect. The plants that we're looking at today are Harper's St. John's Wort, um, Ond Meadow Beauty, and Boykin's Lobelia. So after collecting, we'll bring the seeds back to the lab where we'll ultimately store them in our conservation seed bank. That way they can be useful for future studies looking at genetics of these rare species, or we can propagate them and use them in restoration projects. Since 2019, we've been able to collect seed from 23 species that are considered to be rare in Georgia. We have documented over 1,100 unique plant species on Ichiwe, which is almost a third of the diversity of the state of Georgia. So just in our little postage stamp square of Ichiwe, um, we're capturing just an incredible amount of biodiversity. And the coastal plain in general is known as a biodiversity hotspot. And so if you're into plants, it makes it a really incredible and interesting place to work. We're always finding new species. Um, just last week, we added a new species to the Ichiway herbarium. So I think that got us up to 1,113 plant species that we've documented. So we have about 35 species on Ichiway that are ranked by the Georgia DNR as either vulnerable, imperiled, or critically imperiled in Georgia. And nearly half of those occur in some of our wetlands or at the margins of the wetlands. Um, and some of those species include Lobelia boykinii or Boykin's Lobelia, which is imperiled. Um, also including things like Ond Meadow Beauty and Harper's St. John's Wort. Um, however, because we have a relatively intact landscape here at Itchway and we've used prescribed fire over the last century or so, a lot of them remain fairly abundant in our geographically isolated wetlands. What's so inspiring to me about what we do is having the ability to work every day on the incredible Itchway land base and to work with a diverse array of partners through the Georgia Plant Conservation Alliance. Together, we're able to prioritize the most vulnerable species in the state and work together to ensure their long-term survival.